What's up, guys? I'm Trey Wilborn. I'm Michael Lurch. And we are here to teach the super short Christmas story. Yeah, what an exciting time, my favorite time of year. Yeah, well, it, mine too, and it's because it's the story of Jesus being born. Yeah, and in order for us to really understand Jesus' birth, I brought a few items I'd like to discuss. Is that okay? okay yeah, for sure. What do you got? Well, I've got this, for example, and I put a sermon together, and okay. that is a sermon, an expository sermon. We're gonna cover three points, but it's gonna take us, we're gonna dig in. We're gonna stretch ourselves, okay? And in this, we're gonna look at ancient scrolls, we're gonna look at cultural history, we're gonna look at all of it, so buckle up. Uh, Mike, that that is uh, that is quite a lot of books there. Yes, uh, it is. So so let me ask you a question. In in today's video, which is only six minutes, how much of the Bible were you planning on reading? That could be challenging, but all of it. All of it? <laughs> okay. Well, before we get to this, I wanted to see if I could show you something. I found something this week that is so incredible. And before we get to this massive stack of books, mm -hmm. I was hoping that maybe I could show you and all the people at home what it is I found. Okay. Okay, I'm awesome. Good. Check it out. Well, I found a transporter box. Now, you're never gonna believe what this is. It's a box. You press this button. That button. That button. And you go somewhere else on the entire other side of the planet instantly. Is this like a flux capacitor? Great Scott, it's even better than a flux capacitor. I mean, one push to the button and poof, you're gone. I'm interested. Yeah, 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 definitely. So are you, I mean, are you in? Are you a little nervous or where are you at? I'm a little bit of both. I'm nervous, but I'll, let's just give it a go. Okay, okay. And I promise you, I promise you, like it's totally safe. This like, is safe. Yeah, this is, this is totally safe. Uh, there's no side effects. Uh, you know, nothing possibly could go wrong. I mean, it's gonna be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Why don't you uh, do the honors? Okay. All right, let's go. Awesome. No, it was not awesome. It was super dangerous. There were sharks everywhere. You had the goggles and the snorkel and I didn't have anything. Well, sometimes there are certain side effects and I knew if I had shared every little detail with you, you probably weren't gonna press the button. You didn't tell me about the side effects. You left that detail out. Well, you win some, you lose some. Sorry about that, dude. Fine, just promise me we'll never do that again. Okay. I promise you. Mm -hmm. I promise you that I will never do that again. I promise you that I will never not do that again. Hey. Whoa, this place is awesome. It's like a tropical paradise. I must admit it's better than where we were. At least there are no sharks and we're not in the ocean. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like we have a free vacation. Maybe we should go exploring or do something fun. But first, would you mind handing me my tropical strawberry lemonade? Not a problem. Hey, ah, what have you done with my arms? Don't worry, I got it. I, I did notice there was something different about you today. That's it, I am out of here. Ah! Where are we? We went from a tropical paradise to this? Yeah, but at least I have my arms back and we're not <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> That's true, and, I, and I'm glad you got your arms back and all. But this place is like super lame. I mean, we're just in like a field. No, actually, this place is incredible. Yeah? In this field 2,000 years ago, some shepherds witnessed something that was incredible. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm interested, do tell, sir. Well, instead of telling, let's grab our Bibles. You guys grab your Bibles too, and we're gonna go to Luke chapter two, verses eight through 15. In the same region, shepherds were staying out in the fields and keeping watch at night over their flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be the sign for you. 
you will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. When the angels had left them and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go straight to Bethlehem and see what has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. Wow. I mean, that is an incredible story. It's crazy to think that some sheep shepherds, say that five times fast, in a field were part of the greatest story ever told. Yeah, that's, that is Jesus Christ. Yes, that's the beauty of scripture, where God sent his son Jesus to fill the void for our sin. Mm. And he did that to give us hope in a future. Yeah, I mean, I think I finally get it. I, I, I get it. Like, it's the, the, the Christmas story is so powerful because it's the beginning of the gospel. That's it, yes. Just like A New Hope is the beginning of the Star Wars franchise. Not at all. <laughs> Listen, everybody, we had such a great time teaching the super short Christmas story, but we are out of time, and we just want to say that we love you, and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Sheep Shepherd, Sheep Shepherd, no, Sheep Shepherd, Sheep no, Shepherd, Sheep no. Shepherd. No.